And we are live with uh, tonight's game. Uh, tonight's Brian and I doing a little uh, Squadron Strike Traveler. And uh, it's a scenario called St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Uh, basically, in one of the systems that's on the border between the Zudani and the Imperium, there's a whole bunch of unaligned worlds. And one of those worlds basically does a lot of tech trading with both the Imperium and Zudani to basically get a defense force. So... Brian tonight is flying two very different ships. We have a um, Imperial heavy cruiser and a Zodani light cruiser. These are export models, and they're both uh, basically sold to this uh, system for their defense fleet. So when my little uh, Aslan uh, raiding force shows up, they're kind of surprised to see both an Imperial and Zodani consulate ship bearing down on them. But the R export models are not quite as good as the real thing. So this should hopefully be an interesting battle. Okay then. I think everything looks good to go. <clears throat> Ready to go then? Ready to go. Okay, so my little Lesials. Oh, they have. Oh, yep, that's right. The traditional star of the game put out damage control parties. <laughs> eh, we'll talk about what my ships have as soon as I put out the DC parties. Let's see, what's a good place to put one? Eh, let's put one right here. And for the other. Elysio. Put it right there. And let's see. I can't even pronounce these names. Off TC? Huh? See how many DC parts they have? Three? Oh, this looks like a good spot. Well, probably down here. That's a good spot, and this is a good spot. Okay. Brian's ready, so we'll talk about the ships during the plotting step. Okay, so we're at range uh, 33. My big, uh, my big ship here is the Spinal Misan gun at range 25. That's going to be the real um, kick in the pants for the other side. The other side, they only have uh, Bay Particles as their big gun because these are export models. Hmm. Okay, that was weird. So, let's see what I want to do. Well, I want to get closer, so I'm going to just thrust straight forward. Eh, probably. Three. That's going to be a really aggressive vector to start. Hmm. Why can't I target anything? That's weird. I don't have any filters turned on. Oh, somehow I got him to be on the same team as me. Yeah, that's easy to fix. Okay, that was we kind of weird. Okay, so range 32. 32, 32. 31, so yeah, this round it's going to be oh, that great of a shot. 
Let's see, he's still plotting. So yeah, he's above me as well. Oh, so while we're waiting. So these guys, the Elysial Destroyer leaders, they have Bay Particles, which go out to range 16. That's going to be my big weapon. Otherwise, turret lasers are meh. They're really good at scraping away sand, but not much else. Oh, I also have uh, some turret particle beams in there as well. Range uh, 8. Hmm. Be nice if I get close. Oh, the big guy, though. Spinal Misons could be the big gun. I have a lot of... I don't have too many. Well, I can do salvos of six large missiles for four turns and four small missiles for four turns. Uh, probably want to get closer. Missiles really aren't all that great. Too many things taken down. But it will take, tie up his lasers. Ooh, the Bay Energy splash damage. That's nice and sweet. Like if I go within um, range 12. Oh, he's ready to go. Okay. Adjusting some EOTs. Moving some ships. Oh, he's pitching down. I think we're too far out of range to worry about that stuff right now. Let's see, launch range is 17 for missiles. I'm range 25. So, range 25, 32. 133, yep. And then EOTs. 25, 25, 24. We have nothing. Yeah, not going to waste any sand. Next turn. Yeah, 35. Next turn, I might have some shots with the Misan gun. Probably go after the Jolo first, as it's the smaller of the two ships. And it's lacking a Misan screen. It's uh, fairly frustrating to shoot stuff. <laughs> Just to have it go away. Plotting attacks, yeah, we're out of range to plot attacks, so I'm not going to even bother. Oh, so, yeah, so... My big ship, it's range 32 there, and 32 from both, so... It's the guy I'm going after. Ooh! He accelerated a bit. Or decelerated, or this guy decelerated. Uh, any shots? I don't have any shots, no. Uh, neither, neither do I. Okay, uh, reserve fire. Don't have anything. And yeah, nothing really to do in this phase either. Uh, so let's see. All right, start a turn two. Okay. So going pretty fast. Hmm, probably faster than I really want. I am moving nine hexes a turn. And my thrust is five. So I really don't want to be moving more than five hexes a turn. So I'm moving pretty darn fast. So this is going to be an interesting little battle pass. Let's see. Ooh, range 18. Perfect. So. Oh, hey, I just have to... Uh, Pivot up one to get him right in my arc. 
Let's see, where are these guys' range? 16. Hmm. Don't think I'm gonna be able to have a shot. But if he accelerates without pivoting a bit, I could get him in range with that, those guys as well. Definitely in range of this guy though, range 18. Yeah, that's going to be uh, right smack dead on. Let's see, 5 plus to hit. Probably is a plus 1 for profile, so 50-50 chance to hit. That's 2 shots, chain of fire. 75% chance of hitting with 1 shot. And uh, probably 50-50 hitting with both shots. Yeah, it's 50% to hit with both shots because the first shot will, will cause the second shot to hit automatically if I hit with it. Because of uh, chain fire. So yeah, the b Sun gun's pretty nasty because it has uh, good damage and really good pen. And it has the trait b Sun, which basically says, ignore all defenses. It ignores sand, it ignores surface armor. And then once you get inside, you have the ignore component armor trait, so it starts ignoring all the component armor, so it can chew through ships quickly. Okay, plotting done. Just the OTs. Okay. Blue phase, ships have moved. And let's see. Allocate defenses. So we have to start checking our arcs. Okay, so that's perfect. Hmm. Actually, uh, range eight. What does it have at range eighteen? Uh, Bay Park. I'm out of range. Range seventeen. Large. Oh, that's uh, missiles. Don't have to worry about those. Spinal particle. He's not aggressive. Is he going to go after the big ship? Ooh, Bay Particle. Ouch. Okay, so Atlantic is definitely a problem. A problem? Yeah, boy. Oh, I have three possible targets for it. Does he shoot the biggest targets or the smaller targets? What's the other guy? 18, 18, 17. Ooh. One of one out of range. I think for both ways. Yep, one out of range. So, let's see. I think my big guy, though, needs to pop some sand on the nose. Oh, I have lots of sand. Two, three, four, one, two. Lost sand to fill the. Uh, I'm going to use uh, open circles to indicate sand on a track. Okay, so that's a lot of sand there. Okay, let's see what he shoots at. Okay, time to allocate some attacks. But what is this music? Yeah. Okay, SSD, arc stab. Okay, so the big guy. Mm, do I want to shoot him or the Atlantic? Atlantic is one closer. Hmm. 
nothing else really adds in, so go after him. Jolo on the nose. Speed him on. Speed him, Misan. Let's see. Times two. Range 18, it'll be a uh, 7 plus, 5 slash 9, 6 times hit SI, for component armor, no blow through, peace on, chain fire. Hmm, don't want to launch missiles. Yeah, I'll do that the other ship though, the Sulu C. I'll do the. Oh, I'm in range for both large and small missiles. So, large missile. Time six. Small missile. Time six. And there's really no difference in the missiles after they launch. Oh, large is double pen. Interesting. So, um, yeah, technically we have to do a lab to figure out which one's which. Okay, these things even have labs? Hmm. Okay, nothing else for that ship. Okay, the small ships. Not within range. Not within range. Not within range. Yep, within range. Oh, these have a cooldown? No, they don't. I should probably check my cooldown other ship. Nope, no cooldown. Good, good. Hmm. So, yep, no reason not to. Hey, I can copy and paste. <laughs> okay, and it's range 17, so a particle. It's a, it is out of range. Ah, my eyes are deceiving me. Oh, I only have one freaking shot. Oh well. Dems the brakes. Okay, then let's bring up Brian again. Let's bring up Brian again. Okay, ready then? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay, doke. Uh, do you want to go first or second? Uh, why don't you go? Okay, well, I have my uh, big ship shooting the Jolo on the nose with a uh, Spino Misan. Okay. And so it's a 7 plus to hit. Hey! It hit! <laughs> so that is... Uh... Well, at least you didn't roll a high penetration. I mean, that would be bad. Yeah, so that, that'd be... Uh... 12 points to location 3, ignoring component armor. Uh, 
Um, five to SI. Uh, uh, two, so they'll double to four. <laughs> and then three points wraps around to location five. Yeah, me sun guns. Okay, and I got a crew check here. They die. Okay. Um, I'll substitution. <laughs> that was a pretty nasty hit. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm done. Okay, well, since it's chain fire, the second shot hits automatically. Let's do the attack roll to get the location and damage. All right. Well, it's only uh, seven points, location six, ignoring component armor. Yeah, seven points, yep. Is that like all my singleton sandcasters? I think you got every single one. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, so that's fun. Uh, more hull substitutions. Okay, done. Uh, then I'm launching uh, 10 missiles at the Sulu Sea. Okie doke. And they're underway. Okay. Anything else? Yep, this is actually four. Uh, nope, that's all I had. Everything else was like one hex out of range. Oh, I thought the Kahal... Oh, that's right. The Kahal Ray's out of your range, but in my range. That's always fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're, you have range like 18 or so. I have range 16. Yep, yep. Okay. And you're like range 17. So it's like... Gah! I totally planned that, too. Um. Anyway. Um, at the... Uh, so the Sulu Sea... Uh, the, so you're all set? Um, uh, yes, all my attacks have been completed. Okay, so the Sulu Sea firing at the Kahaure on the front. Um, have four bay particles, needing eights to hit. Uh, which one? The Kahaure uh, E003. Okie doke. Okay, needing eights to hit four bay particles. Hey, well, here we go. Um, that is nine points bursting to location two. Ouch, because I didn't put any sand up because I thought you could shoot my big ship. Oh, I wasn't clear that would work. Nifty. Uh, yeah, so and it's, it's bursting, bursting. And, yeah, okay. Yeah. One, two, and three. twice SI and no blow through, but. Five, six. Seven, eight. Let's see. Don't want to save anything. Yes, I want to save the bay particle. Save the bay particle. Let's see. Want to put it there? Yeah, put it there. Okay. Next shot. Okay. Next shot misses. Oh. But that third shot hits for seven. Location five. Seven to location five. So six after armor. One, two, three, five, six, which is T2. Third particle. Ah, do I have any hull? Yeah, down to there. Okie doke. And last bay particle shot misses. And I have two spinal particles needing sixes to hit. First one misses. Second one misses. Ah, oh, well. 
Oh, good. And then he's getting 12 missiles, because there's nothing like overkill. Ah, uh, no such thing. You can oh, adapter okay. 6+. What? plus. Uh, these are not... Um, not avoidable, not thrust-seeking. Okay. Yeah, avoidable missiles really don't make sense for a Mode 2 universe. Yeah, fair. And YOLO's out of range, so there we go. Missiles are outgoing. Okie dokie. Any reserve fire? Well, uh, those missiles are at range 12, which unfortunately is right in the range where I'm going to have to actually do that. Bother. Okay, well. Um... Okay, so we have 10 targets and 14 turret lasers. So. That's going to be a lot of dice. <laughs> yes, and probably not very effective, but we'll try it. Okay, which ones are you aiming at? Because there are two different types in that mix. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see if I have... Wait, there's two different types? Okay. Yes. Okay. Um And this isn't this is not blind, right? Oh, what do you mean? Uh I'm not I'm not supposed to not know what your designs are or how many of each you have or anything like that. Uh correct. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and look. Um Okay. So, yeah, I guess four of the large missiles will get two shots. Ah, but you don't know which ones are large missiles, which ones are small missiles. Oh, okay. So I just have to say which numbers. Okay. Um, right. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we'll do numbers. One, three, five, and seven. I'll have two shots on them. Okay. Uh, so give me a second to see if I want to send any fire back towards you. Nope, just says large missiles. <laughs> As if that wasn't bad enough. Range 12. Let's see. Oh, wait. Not really worth it. Okay. I'm not seeing the turn range, but... What was that? Are you, you're not in range for any reserve, any turret lasers anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you are? Yeah. The ship you shot at is is within range. <laughs> That's true. Why did that not show up properly? Because it's showing my missiles being in their launch hex. Okay, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Uh, they shouldn't be showing the launch hex. You should be showing range twelve. 
ah list view is not showing the the range 12 list view is showing the current range the launch hex range but if i'm not in list view then it shows the correct range oh it's because okay. you're, when you're in um yeah they're used for different purposes <laughs> yeah yeah okay okay um shall i go ahead or what do you want to do here? well i have no reserve fire so go ahead Oh, I only okay. have like two turret lasers. Like I'm not going to bother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Okay. First targeting number one. Need sevens to hit. So that's a hit for three. Okay. Second. Uh... This is against number uh, number see, one. These, okay, none of these have armor. Okay. Well, it's dead. Okay. Well, the second shot on one is wasted. I have one shot on two. That hits for two. It survives. It survives. Okay, I've got two shots on three. Um, okay, hits for three. It survives. And the second shot misses, so that one survives. Uh, missile number four has one shot on it. Misses. Two shots on number five. One is a hit for three. It lives. And the second one misses. Uh, missile number six has one shot. Hits for three. It dies. Okay. Missile number seven has two shots at it. One hits for three. It lives. And one hits for three. It dies. That's number seven. Yep. Okie doke. Okay. Eight, nine, and ten each have one shot. So eight hits for three. Dead. Nine hits for two. I'm liking the random numbers, I guess. Cripes. <laughs> yeah. And the last shot hits for one. Oh, it lives. So there's only uh, five missiles left. That's drastically better than expected. Yeah, no kidding. Sure you don't want to take those two shots? I'm sure. <laughs> okay, correction phase. Let's see if I can repair any damage. Let's find a ship with damage on it. Okay, and location four. The rate is six. Yep, oh, that's gone. Take that next. Nothing else. Okay, and then uh, here are some marks. Yeah, spent all that sand over here, and, uh... Actually, yeah. But a single dot in the middle, so it's easier to see when I go to... Okay, a single dot. Not like five. Let's see. Down slightly. Okay. Okay, that was painful. Let's see, I also have to mark off destroyed weapons. Up this missile. Let's see, I have to put a pair of turn just over here. I can't remember to read the SSDs before I did the damage control that. Well, both. Yeah, what is that? Random mark in the middle. And that is it for today's installment. If you like this, please consider hitting the like button. If you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out in the YouTube algorithms and getting the content out to the wider public. And the comments are always appreciated down below. We post new content every weekday. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 11.15 a.m. New York time. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.